Hello and welcome back to another episode of Notion Bonsai and today we're going to be working on this Lonicera, also known as a hedging honeysuckle. So this is the tree that we're going to be working on here today. If you have seen my other video on the honeysuckle bonsai, you'll recognize this one from the end of the video. And only a few weeks ago, we gave this tree a prune back. And in that short amount of time, it has put on a lot of growth since then. And just before we start pruning the branches of this tree and deciding which ones to keep and which ones to get rid of, I would first like to come in and just get rid of all of these weeds that's popping up in the pot. You can just pull them out with your hand like that because the substrate that I have the tree in here is so stony with a mix of pumice, academa and lava rock. The weeds come out fairly easily. There's a big weed here. Just give it a little tug. And I think that is all the weeds removed. Whenever I am developing a tree into the later stages of development, I don't really like to have weeds growing in the pot for any length of time because I just feel like as the roots of the tree are growing and I'm trying to get them to grow in that sort of lateral root spread, if there's a weed in the place of a root and it has quite a thick root on the weed, it can disrupt that lateral growing of roots where a root may hit it and go around and then that will thicken and you get a weird looking root that you'll have to cut off. So I think if you do see a weed, it's best to get rid of them as soon as possible. And then in really rare cases, if you have lots of weeds in the pot and they're growing out of control, they can actually affect the health of the tree. So it's good to keep on top of the weeds. And the tools that I will be using in this video today are some twig cutters, branch cutters, wire cutters, and just in case, some gin pliers. And then the wire that I will be keeping on hand is some two millimeter and one and a half millimeter aluminum bonsai wire. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove these suckers growing from the bottom of the trunk. They're just zapping energy from the rest of the tree. And I don't plan to have branches in this area anyways. So off they go. I feel like this branch here has now done its job of elongating in order to get this branch of this thickness. I think it's at a perfect thickness now of having this as a little side branch or a first branch of the tree. I'm just gonna cut this back to where this little shoot comes out here. And as you can see how long that was coming from that spot. It's early summer right now. And when it comes to pruning Lonicerae, it's quite okay to prune them right through the growing season just to keep them in check. And especially with ones like this where it's in the later stages of development. Now what I'm going to do is print all of this back quite hard so that I get a good ramification over the next few years. So like these ones here, I'm gonna print this branch back until there's just two leaves left on the branch. But while I do this, I'm also keeping in mind of the shape that I want the tree to be in. And unlike your conventional triangular shape of a bonsai tree where it has that triangle, I want this tree to have more of an acacia style tree more like where it comes up and then flares out with a flat top on it. So with these lower branches here, I can cut them there. And I'm also following the basic bonsai pruning conventions of removing any crossing branches and removing any ones that's growing straight down or straight up and any ones that are growing in towards the center of the planting also. Some branches like this one here, I'm leaving deliberately long so that I can come and wire that down a little. But the majority of them, I'm just shortening to the first two sets of leaves all over. I'm just tilting the tree up because this will be the final planting angle whenever I repot this tree next year. So this just gives me more of an idea of where the flatness ought to be when I prune the top. If I wanted to have that acacia style look flaring up like this, I'm just seeing the top like that. This is a little bit too long. A lot of this is really easy. If you wanted to, you could just go along and give it sort of a rough cut. So I want there to be a little pad here on this first branch. This one here is growing straight down. So I'm gonna get rid of that altogether. As you can see, this branch here emanates from the trunk and then it splits like this. One's growing up and one is growing straight down. And I think I would just like to keep one of these. I'm gonna remove the top one. And then I'm just gonna shorten this one to say like here. And that's more in line with the profile of the tree. Although I didn't cut it back to the absolute first 
two leaves. I feel that by keeping it this long for now, works with the rest of the tree. There's a lot here that's known as eye poker branches, which is branches that grow directly towards the viewer from the front of the tree. And I think this is definitely the front of this tree because you can see that beautiful trunk line. You can see the split of the branches. And these eye poker branches are sort of disrupting that. So if I just get rid of these or even shorten them first, if you're unsure about a branch, shorten it first before you completely remove it. I'm gonna get rid of this one. That shows off this branch here. A couple of suckers growing right in at the elbow of this branch we can get rid of. And I think I can cut this branch right into here. And then any growth that's growing at the crotch of branches, like down here, in between the trunk and this branch, this would be the crotch of the branch. And sometimes you get growth coming out of there. This is a little strange. I kind of want to keep one of them. So now we have that one. I kind of want this branch back here to come a little lower. So if it came down to like here, then everything else would come down like that one. Let's first get some wire on this one. And for this, I'll use some two millimeter wire. I know I show this a lot, but I think it's quite an important part of bonsai. If you're new to wiring and you don't know how to wire a branch like this, when wiring in bonsai, we always anchor a wire in some way, whether it be to an other branch or around the trunk. And for this branch, I'm gonna wire it around the trunk. So I'm just going to measure it here up the branch and then I'll leave a little bit extra for where I dig it into the soil. Just cut that with some wire cutters. Into the soil we go, around the trunk. That's it anchored. And now around this branch. And as I go up the branch, I'm just being very careful not to damage any of these little leaves on it. As ultimately these leaves on this branch is what's gonna to continue to feed the branch. I'm just wiring in this fairly loosely. I'm not even going to wire it up this little extra piece here. I think I'm gonna stop it there. And then we can now position this branch a little lower. And when I bend it, I'm not bending it from the middle of the branch and having it exit the trunk and then turn down like that. I really wanna bend it from the elbow so that it looks a lot more natural. So I'm coming right in here, bending it from there. Just pulling it a little bit forward towards the viewer. And I'm pretty happy with how that looks there. Eventually this will be cut here, so I'm not too worried about how straight this is here. All I really want in this bend is that curve from the trunk and then eventually over time I'll cut it, let it grow, cut it, let it grow and do the clip and grow method just to get the taper on the branch then. But really all I wanted from this band was that little arch coming from the trunk. Now I think to fill this void here, this back branch could come around here like that. And again, we're taking some two millimeter wire to do this and measuring it to one branch and then up the branch that we wanna wire. Now this is where I'm gonna wire two branches together with one piece of wire. And this is known as the two branch principle. So I'm going to go in at the elbow of the branch first with the wire. A lot of people miss this step and they wonder how to get the wire neat on the branch. In at the elbow first. And from that elbow, that's where everything is sort of anchored from. Come around this branch, taking my time with this as don't wanna risk making any mistakes. And because the bark on Lanicera is a little soft, you can easily tear it off. So I've got a little bit around this branch and now to fully anchor it, I'm gonna come up and around this other branch and just take the time to move the foliage out of the way before you come down a branch. You don't wanna crush any of the leaves. Now that I have it anchored here, I can go back to this branch and this will be a lot easier to wire. All right, and I can just snip the end and then we can position this branch just where we like it. So I'm gonna bring it down first from the elbow, just like the other one. And then I'm just gonna swivel it this way. I'm gonna make sure the rotation of the branch is correct. And what I mean by the rotation is how flat the pad is. So sometimes just by rotating the branch, you can get that pad a little bit more horizontal. And for that, I'm gonna use the gin pliers. I'm just gonna grab the wire and twist the branch like this. So you can see now it's a lot more flat. I'm gonna keep all this growth here to fill in the gap in the middle there, but I really like this pad here. This top part here could be a little pad. And I think at that today, 
I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't expect this to look fantastic after like a third printing. I think over time, as this grows and grows and grows, and with each growth, we come back and prune it just as we have here today. I think this is gonna make quite a nice little bonsai. So if I get all of this together here, this is how much I have removed off of the Lanucera, as you can see. It's probably about half of the foliage, maybe more than half of the foliage. And I know this tree will bounce back just fine. And also with these little off cuttings, you can root these. All you gotta do is remove some of the lower leaves, dip it into some hormone rooting powder, stick it in the soil and it should root. And on that, I'm gonna end off this video right here. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like in this video as it really helps out the channel a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Perhaps you would do something differently with that Lanicera. Maybe you would style it a little differently or perhaps you would just let it grow even crazier before coming back and pruning it. I'm always open to new and different ideas. If you would like to support me and the things that I do on this channel, hit the thanks button down below. And if you would like to stay up to date on all the things that I do off camera, please follow me on Instagram, it's at Notion Bonsai, and you'll be able to see all the things that I do on there. But on that, thank you so very much for watching.